Holy shit, my office is a fucking mess. What have I done? Six hours later. I recently edited a podcast where my co-host Gilbert had a lot of big feelings and he kind of swore throughout the whole uh, podcast. Wait, and I sometimes, if it's just one or two, I can just kind of keep track in my head where they were in the conversation. But there was a lot. We were talking about the Apple Vision Pro. Fucking headset. And uh, I wanted a quick way to be able to find every time he said a cuss word uh, so I could bleep it out. And I like to edit in Final Cut Pro and Final Cut Pro doesn't have built in uh, transcription yet as of my making this video. So I had to take the video and send it to another program or website that would transcribe the audio and then bring it back into Final Cut Pro so I could find those swear words and bleep them out. Initially, I thought, well, maybe DaVinci Resolve can do this and maybe it can. I'm just not very good at DaVinci Resolve. Let me know in the comments if this is something that's possible. So what I ended up doing was exporting an XML to this project and then opening it in DaVinci Resolve and using its transcription tools. Now, when I first brought it in, I transcribed just the clip. I don't know why DaVinci Resolve likes to bring in uh, a Final Cut XML and make it hour one in all the time. I wanted to start at zero, neither here nor there. So yeah, I, I grabbed, you know, the audio file and went to go transcribe that clip and it gave me a nice paragraph. And if I was working on a documentary and I needed to find a particular sentence or word to use in my timeline, super helpful. But in this case, I wanted all of these words so that I could take them out. So instead I needed to transcribe the timeline for captions. So I went to timeline, create subtitles from audio and let it process the timeline. Now here's where I ran into the problem with DaVinci Resolve that someone who knows DaVinci Resolve better than I do may be able to uh, explain, but I couldn't find where I could just search for text inside the captions in DaVinci Resolve. Maybe that's somewhere, I'm not 100% sure, but I know I can do that in Final Cut Pro. So I exported an SRT of these subtitles or captions to open back up inside of Final Cut. So I went to Final Cut, File, Import, Captions, and selected the SRT that I made in DaVinci Resolve. Now, you can only transcribe things in DaVinci Resolve Studio, the $300 version of the application. There are other ways you can make captions that are free and affordable. Now I could have exported this video and uploaded it directly to YouTube. It would have taken hours to get the automatic captions, but I would have gotten them for free. Because this podcast was like an hour and a half long, I could have just exported, you know, like a 720p or even a 480 version to upload to YouTube and just have it make captions and get those. I hear that's what MKBHD used to do, maybe still does. There's also an application in the App Store called Captionator for Final Cut, where it will essentially do that, export the audio, import it into this little applet that runs along with Final Cut and either turn that audio into titles or captions like an SRT. It, is $20 and it seems like the reviews are kind of mixed. It used to be good. It might not be as good uh, anymore, but uh, for the basics of taking the audio from your timeline and turning it into captions automatically without having to type them up, this might work. I haven't tried it myself. There's also the app called uh, Builder NLE from Lumberjack. This was kind of the original transcription tool uh, and it works a lot like what I was explaining in DaVinci Resolve, where it can take files, transcribe them, and then you can highlight chunks of text 
and essentially grab them and bring them into your timeline. Well, it's not quite as seamless as DaVinci Resolve because it is a separate app working alongside Final Cut. You have to like make your selections and then bring them in and then drop them into your timeline. But I kind of feel like this is where DaVinci Resolve got its idea from with how it handles transcribed clips. But it is $200. It's very cool. And I've, I've known about it for like six years now. It's an awesome app, but I, I just can't afford it either. But essentially, once you get your captions or subtitles into Final Cut Pro, this is where Final Cut's like metadata editing is really, really powerful. And we can do that by searching the index. If I open the index, I can search for anything in my timeline, including captions, and I can search for particular words inside a caption. So anytime Gilbert said I can search it. And here's every single caption with that word, even if it's just like a part of the word, if there's an ing at the end or something. And when I click on it in the index, it takes me right to that caption. And then I can zoom in on the timeline and listen, find that swear word and add a bleep. So here's how I did that. I would zoom in on this, on this section, play the caption, find that spot. Now I've got a, a bleep in my, a uh, project here. So I've got this bleep sound. It runs for like 30 seconds. I think it's just like an A440 tone. You could, you could use whatever sound effect. I was just lazy. I just got this bleep sound and uh, I can log it as, as an effect instead of dialogue or music. And it is very loud. It's basically like full zero DB. Uh, so I think I ended up turning it down. I turned it down 18 decibels. So I can even do that in the ins inspector in the media browser before I even bring it in so that when I bring it in every time, it's already tagged as an effect and it's already minus 18 dB. So here I can just grab as much as I need. That's too much. That's this whole second. I just need like, yep, just a tiny bit. And uh, I can I can drop it in. Let's say, let's say this section of audio is the next swear word. I can drop this in with the Q key or I can drag it and drop it into the timeline. Let's shrink this up to the length of the word. And then I need to turn down the original audio. So I'm going to use my uh, range selection tool with R on the keyboard or the drop down here. And I'm going to select the length of the bleep. And then I'm going to turn down the audio within that selected range. And now I have uh, successfully turned down the audio on, on a bleep. And I did it by searching inside of my captions. So although Final Cut doesn't have built-in translation or transcription, or well, either of those, uh, transcription, I can use a tool like DaVinci Resolve Studio, YouTube, or uh, Captionator, or Lumberjack Builder, and I can pull the captions into Final Cut and strike all of the swear words from the project. I hope this is helpful. I was kind of looking for a tutorial like this and I couldn't find it. Um, and I kind of knew the basics of what needed to go into this. So hopefully this helps you in your editing of your foul mouthed friends or your foul mouthed self. If you found this helpful, hit the thumbs up. If you want to learn more, subscribe and I will see you later. Peace.